So welcome back guys. This will be a really short video but in the same way really informative for you guys because I'll be discussing an important topic on how the current date sheet which has been released by your uh, second PU board for Karnataka students who are studying in their uh, second year or second PUC right now and I'll also be discussing how this is an advantage for you guys especially who are giving your KCAT 2024 exam. So make sure that you watch this video till the end and if you haven't subscribed yet and if you are a KCET 2024 aspirant, I'm sure you are missing out on uh, important content which I'll be providing. As someone who has given KCET uh, two years before, I think I'll be someone who can add a lot of value to your preparation and for that reason, for that sole reason, I would strongly suggest you to keep in touch with me through this channel by just subscribing it as soon as possible guys. With that note, let's start this video. One of the major things which many students who are in touch with me were anxious about is the date sheet or the timetable for second PUC examinations which was released recently on January 17th I guess. Many people are thinking about the short gap which is present between the KCT examination and the board examination but what I thought or according to me in my perspective what I think is that you guys have an added advantage through this timetable which the PUC board has set up and let me tell you how. Now till your board examinations you will be in a strong connection with your 12th syllabus i hope i told it right yes right so now uh, at least for your board exam preparation you will be really focused on your 12th examination even if you are not you will be you know forced to be in that strong connection with your 12th syllabus and that will uh, you know ensure that you are doing your 12th syllabus right and till your practical examinations start off I would suggest you guys to just keep in touch with the 11th syllabus too, especially topics which are having high weightage from your class 11th because I know many of you would be in a position wherein you won't be that familiar with the 11th class topics and even I was in the same position during this time so I, uh, I am able to relate to it easily. So what I would like to suggest you guys is uh, to take up 11th syllabus side by side especially the high weightage topics till your practical exams get over. Now, the thing is, where do we get high weightage topics for uh, which are coming under 11th syllabus? For that, in our channel itself, there is an entire playlist dedicated to study less score more series in which I have, you know, provided the weightage distribution for all the chapters, including class 11th and class 12th. If you are someone who hasn't checked it out and if you are preparing for your KCET examination, then uh, just please check it out, guys. And uh, here as you, uh, may be you know encountering the timetable on the screen right now It'll, it is all set to start from 1st March of 2024 and uh, probably a lot of you will be ending your examinations on the day of uh, biology I guess yeah biology is scheduled on 18th March and exactly one month roughly around one month is present between your CET examination and your conclusion of your board examination now now one of the major questions is about how to make the most out of this time and what was the advantage I was talking about. Guys, since you will be in touch with 12th syllabus till 18th of March, the thing is you will have an added edge over there because uh, since there is very less time left, the 12th concepts which you have studied for your board examinations will be there in your mind and trust me this makes a lot of difference because I have experienced this during my CET examination and a lot of students were telling this to me that uh, a lot of gap between the successive examinations may lead to uh, students forgetting certain important stuff from 12th syllabus and uh, understanding the fact that there is a lot of weightage for 12th chapters compared to 11th chapters it is you know highly highly important to have a great uh, or a deeper touch with your 12th syllabus topics now as soon as your 18th examination gets over now 12th syllabus would be done at least once by you for the sake of board examinations now you will be in a position to just revise off 12th portions now uh, what i would like to tell you or uh, what i would like to you know suggest you in order to take the advantage of this time is you can just dedicate the initial phase of that uh, one month in order to cover off the high weightage chapters which come under 11th class with that you will have entire 12th portions in your mind and in the side by side you will also be uh, getting enriched with the topics which contain high weightage from your 11th class with that you will be able to complete the entire syllabus at least 10 days or 15 days before your examination and uh, the remaining 15 days can be you know utilized for practicing or you know taking that mock test or practicing the previous year questions which will in turn uh, take your preparation to the next level along with providing you rigorous practice guys 
so this is the strategy which i was talking about and i'll be uploading a lot of videos based on this in which i'll be talking about it in detail now uh, this video i just took it cause a lot of people were anxious about this timetable bro what shall we do now uh, like how uh, many people who are starting from scratch right now are really you know anxious about this timetable so let me tell you please try to understand the fact that this is not a disadvantage this is an advantage for you guys from now on all of you who are watching this video should be in a position to convince not only convince yourself but also convince your friends that this is an added advantage and and for that all you have to do is just share this video with your friends who are preparing for their kct examination guys guys after the kct examination specifically you will have instagram with you you will have your mobile phone with you you will have all the friends and all the reels which is you know being uploaded in instagram right now but once given the examination won't come back and especially even if the examination can be taken again this time this three months of precious time cannot be you know taken again in your life and and that according to me should be more than enough in order to motivate you to make the most out of the available time and come out with flying colors in your kct examination guys any kind of doubts or any kind of insecurities if you are feeling during your kct preparation or in terms of specific uh, guidance related to specific topics please feel free to reach out to me through the comment section or our telegram group which is completely dedicated to kct 2024 aspirants so if you haven't joined it you can join it with the link which i have given in the description so this was it guys all the best all the very best be focused be you know concentrated and be consistent and nothing can stop you uh, by succeeding in your kcd examination guys with that note this is your well wisher this is your elder brother darshan gauda signing off and we are brothers together thank you guys thank you we'll meet in the next video bye